Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Baldum here. I am having a bad week. I'm not getting another video up this week, so I thought I'd do a quick vlog. And yeah, I know I'm terrible at vlogs, so just bear with me here. Been moving out of the hotel into the apartment. Well, I do owe you a couple of videos on living in a hotel. They are coming. They'll be here in the next couple weeks. Hurt my back uh, earlier this week. I think it just was worn out from all the work I've been doing. Just finally decided to give out while I was putting my socks on, trying to get ready for work. I've been laid up all week, not, not able to do much, so it's been difficult. I've got an idea in mind for a giveaway. It'll probably come in a few weeks. I'm gonna require that you be subscribed you're gonna have to comment on that video to let me know what you would use it for. And share the video on Twitter, tagging me in the tweet so that I know you've done it. And of course, if your username is different, there is on YouTube, you'll have to let me know what your YouTube username is. One of the big reasons I'm moving is that my job is ending, or I should say, potentially ending in November. They're trying to to shut down the data center I'm working in. They're gonna be downsizing, they've been downsizing, they're gonna to continue to downsize. And the contract that I'm working under is up in November and it's kinda of up in the air as to where it'll be. They know they want just minimum commit, minimum keep it running for the next three years. So even if I, they do keep me on for another three years, it's still another three years. I'm tired of IT work. I'm trying to do something else. I'm trying to get my creative side recharged and re-energized and revived. We moved to a place that's more beautiful. There's a lot of photo photographic opportunities there, a lot of video opportunities. Hopefully there'll be more going off out in the middle of nowhere opportunities to do some stuff there. The problem is to make the kind of money I've been used to making, doing that is just, that takes a long time and, and some luck and some hard work. There's no overnight success. I mean, it's just, it's work. So I've got some photos I've been taking and I wanna share these photos. I wanna get them out there. So I'm putting together a store, I'll put a link down below. We can go find that store and buy some of these photos. I'm starting out with the more expensive canvas prints. They're really nice. They're expensive, but they're really nice. I'm gonna start with those. I will get some less expensive, uh, just basic photo prints where you can just buy the photo and, and do your own framing and whatnot. So those those will be cheaper. You'll be able to buy those. If you want a digital copy, I can I can hook you up there too. Just message me on Twitter. That's that's the way I like to communicate. Because honestly, I think email's dead. It's just so full of spam, you know. And and with social media, you can send a direct message on social media. I guess you can send me one on Facebook if you really want to do that. I prefer Twitter. Poor Twitter. They're starting to lose users. Instagram is just killing it out there. Do you know Instagram is owned by Facebook? And Facebook is just so huge. It's a little concerning to me when you get something that huge, that global, that there's good to it and there's concerns about it. So, you know, how benevolent is Facebook going to be? It's not real life. It's online life, right? I do have an email sign up on my website if you want to get email about when I add stuff to my website, which I haven't been doing a very good job of the last few weeks. It's been crazy the last few weeks. The back door of my uh, FJ here, it's messed up. It's really messed up. I, it's, it doesn't open properly. I undid the back window the other day when I was trying to back up the trailer so I could hear my wife back there giving me directions. And now it won't latch again. <laughs> so it's, it's closed, but it's not latched. It's So I can't lock my doors remotely. I have to do it manually. It's, just, it's, uh, it's messed up, but I'm gonna get it replaced. I'm gonna take care of um, next month. Just had so much going on this month, you know, with moving and everything. It's just, I hadn't really had time to do anything with it. So anyway, next month, I'll have a new bumper to show you. I'm looking at an Expedition 1 bumper with the swing out. It's more expensive than what the insurance will cover, but you know, I can, I can pay for half of it and have a nice bumper for half of what it would have cost me. And I don't even have to put it on myself. I had someone else to do it for me. Which we get for my back, because, man, it's gonna take another week at least before I feel somewhat normal. And I still have stuff to move. I still have two storage units that I need to consolidate. It's just, uh, I'm a busy guy right now. Working full time and 
everything, you know. Where did that thought go? Just out of it here. I also got to check engine light on. It's referencing my catalytic converter efficiency, which kind of comes on and off. I'm thinking it's a faulty sensor that's kind of going out. Maybe got shook it up a little bit when I got in the accident, but it's been going on since the accident. I hope it's not the actual catalytic converter getting damaged in the accident. I don't know if there's an easy way to tell that or prove that or show that. If you know, leave me a comment. I lost the lug socket that goes to my locking lug nuts, so I can't change my tires. I try to get it rotated and it's like, I don't know where this thing is. You always lose something when you're moving. So now I gotta figure out if I can find the serial number for it and order a new one or if I'm just gonna have to have them somehow get them off violently somehow. How do you get those things off without the socket? Do you know? It's, it's, it's Re-upped, re re-going. How do you how do you say that? Re reinvented, revived. There you go. So I've got some videos. Videos. So I've got some photos I've been taking. Hey, what's up? Oh, man, my brain is not working today. Because you know it's just so full of scams. Huh? And then I lost lost. We've been getting the monsoon rains out here in Arizona lately. Been lots of fun with all that rain. It's cooled things down, which is good. It's still in the 90s, you know, but it's better than being in the hundreds. You know, if you're on Fahrenheit, that is. Not Celsius. Celsius would be all cooked. We'd all be dead. Earth would be on fire. The Armageddon, or the apocalypse, whatever those evangelicals like to call it. It's, it's, it's comments. 